Guess what we're doing today? Shambhala, Three Dog Night. So let's just get started. This is what we're doing. Standard tuning, capo, second fret. I'm using what looks like a D chord, but it's really an E chord because when you put a capo on the second fret and play a D, it's really an E. And then we're gonna do a C9 and then a G5 most of the time. So this is what it looks like. D chord, you know, just a standard D chord. You have your second finger on the first string, second fret, first finger on the third string, second fret, third finger on the second string, third fret, right? That's your bass note, is your D string. Okay, C9, I'm going to use my second finger on the fifth string, third fret, first finger on the fourth string, second fret, open G string, third finger on the second string, third fret, fourth finger on the first string, third fret. Just like that. Now, you can play a C chord, but I'm gonna do a C9. So you got a D, leave that finger right there, go to the C9, and then we're gonna to go to the G5. Now I could do this finger here too, and that's part of the sound too sometimes. Okay, so right there we've got our second finger on the sixth string, third fret, and then I'm going to mute the A string most of the time, and then the D string open, the G string open, and these two fingers on the same string as when we did the C9, uh, the ring fingers on the second uh, string, third fret, the fourth fingers on the first string, third fret. So it's... Those are our chords. And this is what it looks like when I'm playing. D chord, C9. Now right there I'm doing a G with a B bass. I forgot to tell you about this. So this uh, first finger is on the fifth string, second fret. The third finger is on the second string, third fret, and the fourth finger is on the first string, third fret. Still have those two strings. Open G string, open D string. Second fret, A string. And then I'm gonna go to that G chord with my second finger here on the sixth string, third fret, and I'm going to go ahead and keep that first finger on the fifth string, second fret and then these two fingers where they were before. Okay, here it goes again. G with the B bass, G chord. Now let's look at the right hand and see what the right hand is doing when I do that. That's our D chord, C9. G with the B bass, that's our G chord. D chord, C9, G with the B bass, G. Okay, that's my right hand picking pattern that I'm gonna use. So what we do here is we play the first finger on the fifth string second fret, and then we're gonna play the third fret, and then the open D string, right? And then we're gonna play our bass note, and then we're gonna go. What we're doing here is we're playing that second fret right there on the A string, D string open, G string open, and then third fret on the E string. D string open, D chord, C9. And then we 
we play the second phrase, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, or D chord, C9. Okay, let's back up a little bit here and see if we can get the whole guitar. I didn't always play it that way. Let's try it again. Try that again from a different angle. Right there, I'm playing these four fingers uh, index, middle, ring, and pinky on my D, G, B, and A, uh, E strings. So that's what I'm doing on the intro. Wash away my trouble, wash away my pain with the rain and shine. If I was going to play this, I could do the picking like that. Wash away my trouble, wash away my pain with the rain and shambala. Wash away my sorrow, wash away my shame with the rain and shambala. to practice that like a whole ton. So I think what I'll do is I'll try some. I'm going to do some strumming and see how that works out. I'm going to get a little closer so you can see my strumming and see what I'm doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone is happy. 
because what happens is that the focus goes on the voice and not on the guitar. So if you've only got one guitar, you can just strum it. Now, if you're practicing singing and playing at the same time, wash away my troubles, wash away my pain in the rain of samba, whatever the words are. Wash away my sorrow, wash away my shame with the rain in samba. And don't worry so much about strumming if you're trying to just get it together. Just make it really simple. Okay? Now, one thing that's nice is you could take the capo off. Let me retune really quick here and see if we've got our notes in tune. Ooh, it's a little low. Now I've got standard tuning. Wash away my trouble, wash away my pain with the rain and shambhala. Wash away. so high and it's a little easier for me to sing. So I like this key. D, C9, G. Well there you go. Right? That's what you can do. And I've got your seat saved right here so you can sit by me next time. Thanks for being here. Come see me at Quail Studios Guitar. Watch for the uh, Quail Studios Guide to Music coming up really soon. Going to start releasing that. And I'm over at Patreon. And uh, if you want to support me also, I have a PayPal uh, link down below and on my website for you to donate. So thank you very much. And we'll talk to you later. See ya.